friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. Today we're going to talk about the books that I hope to read in the month of September, and this is probably going to be a relatively quick video. I have already talked about Kindred Spirit September, which is kind of a month-long read-along of sorts. The phrase Kindred Spirits, of course, comes from Anne of Green Gables, which is one of my all-time favorite books, and Ella Montgomery is one of my all-time favorite authors. I have read quite a few of her books, and I have quite a few to still go. So I have chosen a handful of L.M. Montgomery authored books and books about her life and books about Prince Edward Island and a cookbook even. I will link down below and maybe in the cards and maybe in the cards the videos so that you can see specifically what is going to be on my TBR for Kindred Spirit September. I would love to have you join in. I've I've been tossing around the idea of kind of a read-in one night over on Instagram mainly. If you're not following me on Instagram, that link is always in the description box below as well. But I'm really excited and hoping that the majority of my reading focus will be these books and others of Ella Montgomery if I finish all of these that I have on my shelves. But other than the Ella Montgomery books, of course, I just recently posted a video where you guys get to pick a book that I'll be reading in September. And I have four choices from the book exchange that I did last Christmas with Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library. I am not sure yet which book is gonna be chosen. That determination will come on September 1st. So it will be one of these, either Crossing Ebenezer Creek, the Chili Queen, Fox Heart, and Winter in Paradise. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. So that video will also be linked down below so you can hear a little bit more about those books and vote if you haven't. As of right now, it's pretty close between two different ones, I think, so we'll see. <laughs> then we have my Goodreads read-along group, which again, for the rest of this year, we will be having two books each month in hopes that you'll be able to get a hold of one or the other of them or you can read both of them with me. So for September the two choices are last, The Last Year of the War by Susan Meissner. I have read three Susan Meissner books so far and really loved all three of them. I am positive I'm gonna love this one as well. I think this is her most recent release. I think it came out in 2019. Let me check. Yes, this did come out in 2019. Susan Meissner often writes books with dual timelines. I'm not sure this one actually has a dual timeline. It's just set in 1943, World War II era, but it takes place in America where a young girl, 14 year old girl in Iowa, is sent to an internment camp in Texas because her father is thought to be a Nazi sympathizer. Uh, while there, she becomes friends with a Japanese American girl who is also interred at this camp. This is an aspect of World War II that I haven't read as much about, so I'm really excited to read this. I think it's gonna be sad. I feel like all of her books have been, have had an element of sadness to them, but she just, I love the way that she writes and tells a story. So I'm really excited to read this and I would love for you to join me in reading this one. The other book that is for the read along in September is The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kidd. This is one of my five star predictions that I talked about a while ago that I need to finish up before the end of the year. This is another historical fiction that takes place in America in the early 19th century and I believe it follows a young slave girl and another girl who become friends and we follow their two stories. I'm not really sure much more than that, but I have heard such wonderful things about it. I've read The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd and really enjoyed that one. I am hoping that this is going to be a five-star read. We shall see. So join me if you are interested in reading either of these in the Goodreads Read Along group. The link to that will be in the description box below, as always. In 2020, I am doing every month kind of a TBR unhaul project, and for September, there were three books that were on my TBRs either in 2017 or 2018. One of them was After You by Jojo Moyes. I've already unhauled that. I decided not to read it. One of them was Unbreakable by Sarah Ella, which was the third in a trilogy, which I read earlier this year and then unhauled the whole trilogy. The third one is right here, The Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This was on my TBR in 2018. So it's been two years since I've read the first one. In this world, there are four different Londons, each with a different level of magic in them. And there are certain people who have the ability to travel between the Londons. We follow Kel, who is kind of 
who is one of these people who can travel between Londons and he brings artifacts between them and you're really not supposed to do that. Um, and then Lyra, who's the girl, Lila? Lila ends up traveling with him. I'm, I forget how they had come in contact. To be honest, I probably will need to reread the first one before picking up this one because it's been two years. I do remember that I, I listened to the first one on audio and I really didn't like the narrator at all. Uh, thankfully, I increased the speed and so the narrator's voice doesn't bother me quite as much, but I probably should reread the first one and then dive into this one. But this is very low on my September priority. So we'll see if I'm just craving something fantasy because I have some I have some fun Ella Montgomery books, which are very happy reads. I have some historical fiction. Um, we'll see what you guys pick. And if I'm looking for a fantasy, maybe this will be what I pick up. I don't know. The last two that I'm going to talk about are in my library pile. And I have quite a few out from the library right now. But the two that are calling my name the most right now are The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead, which I'm sure you've heard about all over <laughs> booktube already. This is a really short little book. Uh, uh, Colson Wh Whitehead also wrote The Underground Railroad, which I have not yet read. I really want to. But this one takes place in the South, in Florida, I believe, at a kind of a detention home slash boarding school for what are called troubled teens, I guess. I, I'm not exactly sure why the boys get sent there, but there's some trauma and some horrible things that happen at this school slash home. And I have heard that this is just really well done. So I'm very excited to read this one. The other one that's calling out to me that I have out from the library is Lovely War by Julie Berry. This is a kind of a mix of Greek mythology thrown into a historical fiction set during World War one and two. And this is a YA, so I feel like this will read pretty quickly. It has some wide margins and double spacing. So I, I, even though this is a bit of a chunker, I feel like it's a quicker read. But I've just heard so much praise for this. And this was on my summer TBR. And technically, September is still summer until the end of the month when it becomes fall officially. I don't think of September as summer, but I would like to read one more off my summer TBR. And so if I can get this one in, that would be awesome. So here are the two definites, along with a handful of these Ella Montgomery books. Then there will be one of these. <laughs> and then these are all maybes. So it's kind of a mishmash of a TBR this month. I would love to hear if you've read any of these, which ones should I prioritize? And also check out all those other videos that I mentioned down below. And let's talk down in the comments. I would love to hear what you're excited to read in September. And is September summer or fall for you? <laughs> Let's chat down there. You guys know I love talking with you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.